Hello, hello, beautiful friends. It's Tiff back again, and today I'm using my Rusted Roots journal that Michelle, aka Mickleney, who has a class out on how to create this amazing journal, including all the rust dyeing that you can possibly imagine. Well, guess what? I was lucky enough that she actually sent me a journal. So, you know, even though I've got like five other journals going right now, why not? go ahead and add a sixth one to the pile. So I was so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. She also has a channel here on YouTube. Um, if you don't know, she is my partner in crime when it comes to the You Me Same Three. So make sure to go and check her out. And also, if you are interested in her class, Rusted Roots, you can find it in the description box. Um, below. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with all of my little paper random giblets that I have. Um, giblets of paper is just fun to play with, right? And so I have plenty of it, so why not go ahead and use it? So I'm using my Uhu glue stick, and I'm just using that amazing black masking tape. Thank you very much, Kyla, for that. Didn't even know it existed until Kyla got it for me at Dick Blick. <laughs> so I'm going to go in here with all kinds of junk, including some cardboard, some staples, because why not? A little of this, a dash of that, and bada bing, bada boom, we have a cluster, friends, of collage. A cluster collage. I'm kind of tinkering around with um, some of the photos. These are not rust dyed photos. These are actually coffee and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, they are some that I did in a demo for um, one of my classes and I had them left over. So why not go ahead and try to use them in this spread as well. And so I'm just, I love how neutrals and color can play so very well together if we give them the opportunity and so I just wanted a little pop a little zippity doo dah of some color so I'm going in with that turquoise which is Liquitex Basics and then I think that other one was maybe Liquitex Basics too I can't remember and so I'm just using, using, it's very technical. If this is your first time tuning in, well, welcome, honey. I've been waiting on you. And I just did a little water to get it moving and grooving and kind of, you know, playing around. And while I dry, I typically am trying out and auditioning pieces because I believe any time that you break your mind from going from like art to analyzing or something like that. I don't know. I just like to stay in the flow. And in order to stay in the flow, I have to keep my hands busy. And part of that is just kind of tinkering about while you're drying your page. Because ain't no nobody got time to be waiting on that stuff to dry. So these are my stencils. Um, it's something really cool about um, stencils that you created. You can also find these. Um, I can link it below as well. But I wanted to take some of the words um, soulfully raw and creative. And I wanted to kind of messy put that over there to kind of just blur back some of the boldness within that color pop. And I love, do you hear me right now? I love how it looks. So, um, I did kind of poke a little bit of a hole because I am not very patient at all and I should have let it dry, but I didn't. Yeah, you would think after all this time, I would learn a lesson that wet paper will tear very easily. But you know what? <laughs> eh, it's all right. So I'm going to just take that Payne's Gray, which is my favorite color in the whole whip. No, it's not my favorite color in the world. It's my favorite color that's close to black. How's that? And I had some of these printable images that is also available in Mickleney's um, class. And I had those, I just printed them out. I was testing the prints um, in the classroom and I printed them out on just regular old cheap copy paper. And I thought, well, Tiff, we're not gonna let that waste. No, heck, no, we're not. We're gonna go ahead and tear it up and kind of use it into this uh, with a little bit of the rusted paper that she had in the front of the envelope. And then a really cool way to kind of bring your um, image into 
to pop, like whatever your focal is. So if you feel like your focal could very easily get lost in the um, minutia of your page, then you can just use like something, whether it's a um, scrapbook piece of paper, tissue paper is what I'm using today. And um, you can just put that around it and it brings that energy directly into um, that, uh, that page. So then there's no idea, like there's no doubt that people would immediately be drawn into these two chicks, okay? And so one of the cool things about tissue paper is it melts away and um, kind of just slides into the background without very much effort, especially when you use matte gel medium, fluid matte gel medium. So I'm going to go in with the fluid matte gel medium just around these chicks and I'm going to very kind of carefully um, brush it all the way on and it just kind of melts into the page like I said um, and then it's yeah that's pretty much a wrap I am gonna add some rub-ons because um, I like the words lost and found and I thought for Michelle and I our um, relationship was kind of found through Instagram and I thought that it would just be a cool representation of the journal that she made me. There's two girls. Those girls aren't us. But, um, and then, uh, you know, we were lost until we found each other. And the internet is what brought us together. Probably never would have crossed paths with her or many other people without the abilities of social media. So, um, I kind of just used those words to walk me through it. And then I thought on the right hand side, the paper cardboard thing right there was just kind of, hmm, I am I, I, I. So I wanted to do a little something to just make it a little bit kind of pop. And so I took my rub on again and I'm just, you see, using a hotel card, creek key card and just kind of scratching through that. Sorry, I did get a new camcorder, y'all, and the autofocus. I haven't got it figured out yet, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you next time, y'all. Don't forget, check the description box for all the things that I talked about today and a little bit more. And until next time, y'all, toodaloo!